Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this edition of Roland Sports, where you meet the athletes. I'm Tyler Roland, and with me here, we have from Ashland, we have Colin Porter, who's getting ready to go to Liberty University and to play basketball. And also, we have one of the team managers, Luke Mays. We're excited to have both on today. And first off, Colin, I know you leave for Liberty this weekend. Talk about how it feels. Just you're going to play at the Division One level at a at a great school, and so it looks like you have a real opportunity there. Yeah, um, you know, I think it's a it's a blessing for sure. And you know, a lot of people haven't they haven't seen what Liberty has to offer, but the campus is just amazing. It was mind blowing to me whenever I first went down there, and I'm sure if, if whoever can come and see a game or whatever, I'm sure that they'll be they'll be blown away as well. But you know, it's going to be a busy summer, but I think it's going to be really fun. We're going to start class workouts, so I'll get to gel with the guys and build a chemistry. And as we all know here, the chemistry is how you win ball games. So I just hope to be able to carry that there to Liberty, and I can't thank Ashland enough. Mm -hmm. And talk about talk about Luke and your friendship with him and the, the value that um, jo just what a great friend he's been to you and to the team and to the Ashland program. Yeah, Luke is like, I guess he's like my big brother. Um, the first time I ever met him, I was like, I was over in my new locker. Hunter Gillum had just told me to sit down, take a seat, relax. And I sat down, and it's right before a uh, summer league game in June. And Luke just comes over, and I'm trying to warm up, stretch. And next thing I know, he has me in a headlock, and I'm just sitting there. <laughs> and I just started laughing a little bit. And from then on, you know, I just knew that Luke is – He's someone on our team that is he's not he's not replaceable. I mean, he's there and he's like family to all of us. If you talk about Ashland basketball, Luke has mentioned. But more importantly, like just um it gets a little emotional, but whenever like um he's just been like a best friend to me and someone that I'll always just I'll cherish the memories and I just hope and pray that there's many more to come. Mm -hmm. And Luke, what do you what do you like about about the uh, Colin and the and the guys that you had the opportunity to be a part of with this program? Uh, we got Mississippi, we got we got Hibbins, we got Ashland Tomcats, we got Mississippi and the Asher Higgins, and the Senior, and the Ripps, we got uh Ruffitt, we got James, we got Colin Parker, and the Ruffitt and the Basketball. Mm -hmm. And and how did you like coaching the getting to coach the team one time against Rose Hill? Uh, Rose Hill, we coach me uh, yelling against Buster. And uh, Rose Hill, I got to play with games. I got Mays and Bonner and Ryan and then uh, play with teams and we play with games and uh, Nick Reese. And and Colin, talk about the just how you feel um, going into college. Maybe what's something that in particular that you've learned over your career? Maybe that really helped you to get to the level that you're you are today. Um. Yeah. I mean, I have to thank Coach Mays a lot. Um, we had a lot of film sessions, a lot of film studies. Where you know, some games I think I'm playing pretty good, but there's always something that you can get better at. So. I think just knowing that I have room to grow and to stay humble, continue to work as hard as I did here, just knowing that it was a great start here, but we have, or me personally, I I like feel like I want to prove some more things at the next level. So just to continue to be humble, put God first in all I do, just have a great work ethic, and just, you know, just knowing that basketball isn't the only reason I'm there. Um, it's just, it's a great reason just to go and get my school paid for, which is a blessing, but... I'm trying to go there and build friendships that will last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And talk about one person in particular, Coach McKay. Um, of course, I'm, it was fun to have the opportunity to meet him at one of the games this year. Um, what what do you see in him at the at the next level that and how he can help you? Yeah, um, Coach McKay is someone who I haven't spent a lot of time with um, face to face, but it feels like he's like just like a father figure to me and just someone that I really can trust, you know. Um, I guess some people say that, like, college basketball is a business, but Coach McKay really cared about who I was as a person more importantly than if I can put the ball in the hole. So just knowing that he cares about me as an individual, 
me um, how my faith is at the time. You know, you have your ups and downs. Um, so just knowing that he's always there, he'll check in, and um, I just I can't wait to be down there with him and just experience life with him. And we'll do a fun little segment here on on Luke, and we'll see what some of Luke's favorite things are. Luke, first off, what is your favorite food? Uh, we do do wings, chicken, and uh, rice, rice, and uh, wings, and got chicken, and uh, rice wings, and uh, rice, rice, and uh, wings. Grilled chicken and, and, uh, and fries. fries. Nice. Yeah, it can't be grilled chicken and french fries. And and what is your favorite video game? Uh, we love uh, rubber games, uh, Left Dad 2, and uh, Rubber Dad 2K2, uh, Cooker Duty Black Ops 2. Alright. And you got some uh, 2K22, Left 4 Dead 2, and some Call of Duty, right? Yes, right, Call Yes, sir. Yeah, and, and who's your favorite team on NBA 2K? Well, who do you ever have a team of Evans? Uh, my name is Hannah Norman, Ben Simpson. Mm -hmm. Ben, ben Simmons? Yeah. Yep. Ben Simmons, he's pretty good. I thought you were a Seth Curry fan. Yeah, we are. We're nice. Seth Curry, we good Browns. And we're, we're left whips, we got we pass it to uh, Cowley Thompson. Yeah, Clay Thompson, he passes Clay Thompson. Uh, just then, we got Kevin Grant and a and Kevin Grant, and you're good, and you're a gunk, and you Kevin Grant, and your influence, and you're happen, and you're kind of cool, and you're happen, and you're Kevin Grant, and you're skateboarders, and you're all over the games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and where do you like to eat out locally with the team? Uh, as a good team, and you're Collins, my Parker. And I got Cocker, Conway, I got Good, it was Cocker. Yeah, you got the Cree, you said Connors. Three brothers. Yep, Trace Romanos. And you got Reynos. Yep. Yeah, can't, can't beat that. And lastly, Luke, are there any any shout outs that you'd like to give? Uh, we got, huh? Uh, what, Finny? Yeah, yeah. I got Finny, I got. A page where we can push right there, <laughs> and the page is good, and and my 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 funny, and both of them my 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 daughter. <laughs> All right, nice, nice. Okay, and lastly, Colin, um, I'll um, I'll turn it over to you. Um, any final message that you have that you'd like to say, whatever, just whatever's on your mind. Yeah. Um. Yeah, um, I just want to thank all of Ashland. You know, these uh, past three years have been a blessing, and it went by really fast. I can't explain the memories, but I just I'm so glad to know that this is like home to me, and um, whatever the future holds of me in basketball, at Liberty, I'm, I'm just so glad to know that I can come back here and just be comfortable and just be at home. So thank you all to Ashland. Colin, Luke, we thank you guys for your time and look forward to seeing more episodes of Rolling Sports coming up soon. We thank you for watching today. Rolling Sports, where you meet the athletes.